Hey guys, welcome back to do we're going to do GLA Justice League of America issue 98 of from DC Comics. Um, well, the last issue has some problems when it comes to story. Well, I found it a little bit lacking and was a little bit still. This has similar problems, but the pacing is way better. And uh, yeah, we are ending. The, no, wait a minute. We are nearing the end. I mean, only one issue to go. And then this saga is done. So let's see if it pays off. But in the meantime, let's talk about this comic. Uh, no, in the last issue, we saw that the Justice League, uh, you know, bursting into the room uh, of the Doom Patrol. And, uh, well, we go a little bit back in time before they reach the islands because Batman, um, you know, used his detective skills to seek out um, a certain group of people some well he calls it some kind of an anomaly um and also some uncatalogued meta humans and he means nudge and that four-armed ape and vortex the the other guy that is a teleporter and uh, they trace them uh in combination with other factors to this island who is now uh, also invisible even oracle cannot find it and um the this well, fortress or whatever it is, prison, um, is very fortified. It has, you know, very state-of-the-art technology. And that is probably one of the reasons that nobody can find it. So, um, Flash is doing a recon. And then he um, he sees Nudge. And Nudge is running away because he is, you know, seeing a ghost. Uh, but I forgot what that part was. Uh, or maybe we didn't see it at all in the last issue. I don't know. And then Grunt is behind her, but Flash misinterprets the whole situation and thinks that Grunt is attacking this young girl. So uh, he attacks immediately, and then also catching her, uh, well, he throws her overboard, and then the rest of the Justice League is coming in. And then he realizes, or later, that uh, that something is wrong. And then even the Justice League uh, steps in to, uh, you know, hold um, this creature who is now wild because they attacked him and then also his friend. Um, and they have, you know, used Green Lantern's uh, green light to, you know, imprison him again, which is not really fun for this creature who just escaped from another prison. Um, meanwhile, um, Batman wants to know uh, a lot of stuff in detail, and then Martian Manhunter steps in and uses his telepathy, and then he says he I, he uses he hears screams. A lot of noise and, and angry that shouts out shouts out in anger and hate, and uh, also uh, Marshall, not not Marshy Man, not John Stewart, Green Lantern, uh, recognizes the girl. Then he says, "Well, this is the the girl that uses the Jedi mind trick on him in a couple of issue ago." And then Batman wants to uh, says, "Hey, do you want to carry explain itself?" And then Marshy Man not to steps in. Um, so they don't trust them, but they also know that they are not the enemies. So just in case they are, well, um, caging them <laughs> in, the, in the green light. And then they are um, going into the prison facility. I believe that's what it is. But before we go there, we see um, the Vortex is uh, now to try to help Superman, who is now still in fraud. And he tries to help him and, you know, so that he can escape the hypnotism. But then uh, one of the vampires hears what he's want, gonna to do, what he's going to do. And then uh, they label him as a traitor and then they're attacking him. And what I didn't know, that he has some kind of a mask. And then behind is it, I don't know what, but these creatures who are ugly and evil themselves are so terrified of what they see that they are, uh, you know, helpless because of the fear, and then he uh, he disposes them uh, with a uh, with a stick, and he says, "No witnesses." Uh, going back to Temescira or um, Paradise Island, we uh, we see uh, Wonder Woman getting healed up, but she's not healed up hundred percent completely. So, and she wants to help the Justice League, but she's still too wounded. So there is that. Uh, she cannot help them, so I think she's going to come back in the next issue. I hope so. I think so. Not entirely sure. Meanwhile, uh, the Justice League investigating the prison, and they uh, recognize that this uh, 
prison has been burst open and they found some residues about Grunt, you know, the four armed ape gorilla thing. Uh, skipping to Crucible. Uh, still a silly name, in my opinion. Uh, Crucible, I don't know. I, I thought he's just, just a vampire, but he's way more than that. He absorbs life force, but somehow he's getting, you know, more instead. He looks more sickening while absorbing their power or their life force. And uh, he says the converge is coming. I don't know what it is. Um, well, I do. Well, I know what it is because I read the last couple of pages. Coming back to that a little bit later. So uh, we see um, the Justice League and the Doom Patrol. So we start now here, where the last issue and the last page uh, ended. And um, so the Doom Patrol explains that they also look for the Ten Circle and that they want to stop what's happening with the Converge. And, um, and then they interrogate Nudge uh, about what happened. So Manhunter explains uh, he knows what's happening because he was in her head. So he explains... Oops, more ads. Sorry. So he explains that um, there's a lot of noise and, and, and things in her head that interferes with his telepathy because um, money to Raven, uh, she's in contact with him unwillingly and unknowingly. And money to Raven discovered the plans of the Ten Circle. And before he, you know, get to the Justice League and warn about what's going to happen, he is being attacked by the Ten Circle. Um, so, well, Nudge is in, 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 in thrall by Crucible. She seeks out Superman with the hope that Superman can help her and dispose of Crucible. Uh, but that's not the case because Superman is vulnerable to magic. And now Superman is enthralled by Crucible. So that plan backfired. And then Superman uh, seeked out... Um, what's her name? Faith, who has also psychic abilities so i wonder if there is a connection with people with psychic abilities and then um miles which is now the leader of the doom patrol says hey um you need to uh, prepare yourself because they got the money two stones uh, you know stones of the money two where adam is disappeared in and he asked uh, he asked rita to shrink herself and then find the atom for more answers so he's doing that but she's somehow um, I didn't know that she could shrink so tiny, by the way. She's now probably a millimeter or something. Uh, I know that Rita is giant girl, I believe. Uh, I didn't know she could shrink as well. That is new for me. So that's presently surprise, I think. Uh, so she goes down to, uh, I call it the microverse. It's not how it's called, but that's how I call it. And uh, she meets up with um, Ray Palmer. And uh, Ray Palmer... Uh, explains to her that this is another dimension. So this is not the microverse. This is another dimension. And Crucible was here a long time ago. And Crucible um, left a some kind of a device. And with the device, people can teleport to all over the place in, instantly. But not only that, he reveals some kind of an artifact. And we still don't know what it is. Although Miles says, uh, I have no idea what it is, but... Martian Manhunter says um, he feels that this is something they can use. One of the last things they we see is that on some kind of a basketball field, Crucible is ha ha having a speech. And then what I didn't know is that, you know, you see this X here. But this is all composed of dead bodies. I didn't know that. So what is the Converge? The Converge is actually uh, that some kind of a ritual that rips out the souls of every people that is, you know, in here in town, and then is being replaced by his brethren, his vampire uh, race, uh, which is actually cool. So out with the old, in with the new. And then uh, he sees a flash. Of course, I love this, this rendition here. It's, it looks really cool and creepy. Then the Justice League is here to interfere, and that's the end of the book for the Justice League issue 9081. What, what did I say? 9081? 98. So yeah, um, very cool. I hope the, the ending is paying off. We will see. 
And it brings us to the end of the video. Uh, I like this story. Not everything of the GLA is good. Uh, there's some subplots and some filler stories that I actually don't like. But overall, this is a cool one. And I also love Batman in his old classic costume. Uh, it just looks great. Um, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.